this is a pro um, chapter two, project three B. The owner of the company wants to invest some money um, by putting aside certain amount for a length of time, and and um, perhaps use that money for uh, future investments and so on. But for now, he wants to save certain amount, and he wants to find out how much he will get at certain number of um, payments. So the plan is, or the idea is that he could um, put aside $1,200 per month um, for three years. So in the second table here, select the, uh, the cell B15 as active cell. That's where we are going to put a function called uh, future value, that's FV as in Victor, and we are going to use the formulas tab, and in the uh, function library group, you will click on the drop down menu of financial, and within the financial, we're going to look for future value, that's FV. And you can also, it gives kind of a hint of what future value or FV function is about. And it, it says it returns the future value of an investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. So go ahead and click on FB. And in the dialog box, we need to put a few um, parameters. So first one would be the rate. So the rate is says the returns the future value of an investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. So the rate is interest rate per period. Um, for example, use 6% and divide that by 4 for quarterly. Um, for our case, we are going to click on uh, B12, that is an annual rate. So for annual rate, we'll divide that by 12 because there are 12 months or 12 periods uh, per year. And then um, number of periods would be cell B13, that's 36 months. And here we don't have to divide by 12, obviously because 36 is already a uh, monthly payment um, the, uh, by month, not by year. 9% um, was per year, but 36 was per uh, month, so we don't divide that by 12. Um, if the number of, uh, number of months here was um, meant to be year, and of course you would divide by 12. But for now, we'll just use it as it is. And then payments, PMT. So PMT is the payment made each period. So the owner is going to put aside $1,200, right? You can put it in directly, or better way would be selecting the cell containing that um, value. And now we have a couple of other uh, boxes here, but notice that these heading for these boxes are not bold letters. So that means they are not required. So if you want to have um, more complex, comprehensive formula, you will use this uh, values, but for now we are not going to use them. So go ahead and click on OK, and then that's the value. So at the end, we will have um, forty-nine thousand three hundred eighty-three dollars and twenty-six cents. That's with uh, twelve hundred dollars per month payment or savings um, in addition to 9%
interest rate, interest amount. So that's a pretty good money. And also I just wanted to remind you that this cell, which is um, uh, the monthly savings, is in negative value. You see the parentheses indicating this is a negative value. And that is correct in terms of accounting because in accounting we have a liability and credit and this is a liability money goes out of the pocket from the owner's you know pot of money because it goes to the bank or investor um, so that's why it is indicated with minus or negative value so should this was not entered with minus or negative value, this is what you're going to get, which again is indicating is a negative value. So what you you may think, wait a minute, I've been putting away all this money for all this time at this interest rate. How come I'm getting a negative value? It looks like I'm owing something. So obviously that's not true. That's why you want to put a minus or a negation in order to make the the total um, the end ending amount to be uh, positive. Okay.